All right, so these are all the prints we printed on the Mars 5 Ultra. And the thing that really stands out with this printer is the ease of use and how refined it is, which gives you quite a premium experience. So we have quite a few prints here. I use two types of resin. You can see the darker and the lighter. They're both water washables. And before we started looking at them closer, the one thing that was absolutely an issue for me with this printer was that all the prints stuck too well to the build plate. And so when I first started, I had a hard time pulling the prints off as our bottom layer exposure was at like 30 seconds or so. And eventually I got down all the way to four seconds where I can actually pull the prints off. I'm not sure if this is just my situation, but if you're having sticking issues like I did where it sticks too well, try bringing the bottom layer exposure down to five seconds or under and also I only had two bottom layers so yeah sticking too well to the build plate is a good thing but not so great when you can't pop the models off without breaking them now if you use supports obviously that's not a big of a deal most of these prints I printed were without supports which was why it was more of an issue but with that said let's take a look at our first print here which is this Rook and this thing came with the printer and you guys can see it looks very nice so the bottom looks good there's a little bit of air pockets there but other than that it's pretty good looking it actually did come off reasonably well the small chip and there is no elephant foot so it does a very good job leveling itself the platform and if you guys can see hopefully here that the quality is very nice and you can see the letters there inside very crisp and pretty much perfect and again all of this resin that we use is water washable which is quite easy to use and very friendly it does warp a little more but for more general printing water washable resin looks really good so here we have an Ameri Labs test print this was printed by itself earlier and you guys can see there's a ton of detail in there so we can't really see this you know without having a macro lens but whatever you guys can see there I can tell you that it's really, really good. And the resolution and detail on this printer is astonishingly high. So we have a print here that's Elf Bust, I think is what it's called. And yeah, we can see there's a lot of detail in this print. And this is one solid piece. I didn't hollow it out or anything. And this did use supports. Most of them were towards the back. They cleaned up very well on just automatic. You can kind of see a couple here and there. Didn't clean out completely. But yeah, just quickly pulled them off. This is what it looks like. So yeah, even the automatic supports do an excellent job and the cleanup is very minimal. And this whole thing here was under supports and you guys can see it kind of warped there. But yeah, the details are incredible again. And this is without any kind of anti-aliasing or anything else smoothing. This is just normal profile print and the prints come out very smooth and <laughs> very sharp. So here we have a pretty cute print, which is a bear. And this also turned out perfect. It actually looks very smooth. This resin actually has a little sheen to it. It almost looks like pearl in a way. You guys can see even after it cleans up, it does have a shine to it. There's no faults whatsoever here and it looks perfect. Except for when we go to the bottom, we can see there's some residue from the build plate. Again, the build plate sticks too well. And this is a print that was towards the end with the exposure times turned way down. So yeah. The next one we got here is quite large. It's also very detailed. And I'm not sure if the lighting is going to do very well on this lighter color, but you guys can see. And plus it's kind of shiny, which is <laughs> not so good for detail. But yeah, you guys can see the detail is all there. And it did extremely well towards the top. I did punch a hole on top of his head to drain her resin out. It is hollowed out. The only issue that we kind of had was towards the bottom a little bit. But on the back, you guys can see it's quite smooth for being, you know, shiny also. The tilting mechanism seems to be very accurate. We did have some kind of layer here though, but other than that, it's quite large print and pretty much perfect. And I did break it off, pulling it off, but still very happy with the results. And again, it did take me a while to figure out that I need to bring the exposure down on the first layers. So this next print here is quite incredible as it's a flowery petally thing. It's quite thin and somewhat fragile, I guess. But yeah, the thing to take away here is each petal is perfectly separated and it all printed out to perfection as you guys can see. So yeah, even going straight to the middle there, pretty much perfect. It did start to curl a little bit there, but overall a beautiful print and quite incredible what resin printers can put out. So here we have a pretty fun one. And this print will show how well the layers go down because the body is very smooth and you guys can see it's pretty much perfect. Beautiful print here. Again, this resin does have a shine to it, but you guys can see very, very consistent layers. On the bottom of his feet, we can see where, again, it's stuck too well, which is interesting. 
peeling the coating off of the bill plate and going up to the face and then the antlers just incredible how detailed and perfect it came out so yeah and these are you know quite strong they won't just break well it depends on the resin also but very nice print lots of accuracy and smooth consistent layering and here we have a print which is called a droid i think it's kind of like a lizard and it's completely perforated but the quality guys is just incredible on this thing very clean and smooth and looks great now this print here was a good example of sticking too well it's our feet or paws kind of broke off there other than that it did turn out very well and it looks excellent now here we have a pretty incredible print which is only possible on a printer like this and this is called i think a neuron and so this is just a bunch of webs that go through the whole thing to have this much intertwining connections and you know they're all kind of wiggly and not completely straight and it all combines together is quite incredible so if i can find the bottom here we go so the bottom is easily found with again residue from the bill plate coming off and i did kind of break it off a bit here as i was trying to pull it off but yeah awesome print again an excellent job for the 5 ultra so here we have an eiffel tower this is one of the first prints we printed this thing turned out excellent for the most part so if we look at the bottom you guys can see i broke up two of the legs trying to get it off but surprisingly the other two came off okay but if we look at the details especially this railing here it's pretty much perfection guys incredible detail you can see through all of these here hopefully i can line it up where you guys can see and even going to the very top there everything is see-through even that fine mesh right there which will be very hard to see but yeah incredible resolution and everything feels very sturdy and bonded very well together and also by the way guys this is the full height or at least the fit to scale that it gave me on the slicer for the full height that I could print so yeah you guys can see this is a pretty incredible printer I was pretty impressed with how far Elegoo is pushing the technology especially with the tub moving with the tilt release is quite incredible it makes a lot of sense the auto leveling system seems to work well we also have a smart mechanical sensor that senses if anything is wrong during the print process we also get an AI camera that is great for monitoring the print also it is smart so if it sees anything wrong it should alert we do have a Wi-Fi connection which is great to interact with the printer from your slicer on the computer we got an excellent vertical touch screen five inches very clear and high resolution and this being the mars edition it is on the smaller side of our build volume being 218 wide 88 deep and 220 tall which is actually pretty good size and with full confidence recommend this printer to anyone that's just getting started so if you haven't gotten into resin printing and you want to this would be an excellent machine to start with very easy to use straightforward prints water washable resin very well has all the features that you'd want and has pretty much everything you need to get started and not to mention being an ultra model it's priced very well for everything you get 